Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about snowstorms in British Columbia, breaking snowfall total records back to 1899, as well as a couple of suburbs around Boston, breaking snow records back to 1905 and 1883, nearly 140 years ago. Let's start off in British Columbia. It's in Western Canada, the larger rectangular box highlighted in yellow. In Okanagan, 33 centimeters of snow. That's more than a foot in less than 24 hours, breaking the record back to 1899. This is what the snow conditions were like on the ground. Another report puts it at 38 to 41 centimeters, though after the snowfall, the snow settled down to 33 centimeters. The deepest snow they've had in 115 years, which fits the pattern of cooling during the last solar minimum. A quick look on the East Coast in Quebec City, the coldest place on the planet during the day at minus 44 degrees Celsius or negative 47 Fahrenheit. As we all heard about the possible megastorm in New York City, the snow actually dumped around Boston. The highest totals were in Worcester, breaking the all time record for snows. And these records go back to 1883, which is 132 years. This fits exactly the pattern of cooling that was experienced during the Dalton Minimum. We are going back into the snowfall totals, and you could expect next year to have higher totals than this year. And it will continue year upon year upon year. A bit wider view here so you can see where the snowfall totals were. Notice the years in the snowfall totals around Worcester, 2013, 2015 the pattern that it's intensifying, you're getting the top snowfall totals this year and a couple of years ago. Hartford, Connecticut also 2011, 2013. It all seems to be occurring in the last few years. A quick look here. You're not driving through that. That paralyzes a city that gets snow every winter. When we're talking totals here, I know it snows every year in Boston. I know it snows every year in Canada and British Columbia. But these are 100 plus year snow records being broken. That's why I'm bringing it to your attention. So north end of Boston, look how deep that is on the cars and the roads, paralyzing traffic there. Satellite view of the storm passing over, quick glimpse into the sixth largest snowstorm in Providence, green fourth largest ever, and Worcester, brand new record in 132 years. Snowfalls at this type of depth and intensity are just the beginning. You can expect this again and again from now on. As you can see, the snow records kept back to 1905 in that particular suburb. At this depth of snowfall, all supply chain distribution is halted. All transportation ceases. You're not leaving your home unless you have a snowmobile or snow skis. And even outside in this condition, how far can you really walk? Five miles? Even if you can get to the supermarket, when you need to return to your home and your backpack's full, weighing 40 or 50 pounds, you know, that is a slug going through snow, a meter deep, three feet deep, carrying 50 pounds with snow skis. Come on, are you really going to do that for survival year after year? Western Massachusetts, WeatherMax putting another couple of charts out here to show you the depths in inches as well as the intensity in the years of the top snowstorms by suburb. Look at this interstate. Everything stopped. There aren't any trucks or semi-trailers even able to penetrate this snow depth. All deliveries cease. Another look at a few snow totals, and I continually receive a barrage of people writing saying it's the warmest year ever and we're going warming again and it's global warming. I, I would ask you to please look at this UAH satellite temperature compilation here. Does that look like we are exceeding either 1999 or 2010 levels of heating? No, we're not. It's far below that. And when I do say far below, it's tenths of a degree. So the IPCC was so far off, they say we would be up 1.8 by now. That would be almost double what 1999 was, and they're not even close. Why are we still using defunct models to predict future climatic changes? A temperature reconstruction here of the modern minimum, the decrease in temperature, pretty much matching up in the Boston area. Seems to match up pretty well. This is the 2013-14 temperature departure. Except for that southern sliver down there in BC where they just got pelted with a 100-year snowstorm, the rest of it does match up. And we're looking at the next minimum. They're putting it at 2042 at the bottom. A lot of different scientists. Some are going out to 2080, 2035. 
is the earliest we would even consider coming out of some sort of minimum. If this is the beginning and this is the intensity of snowstorms we are going to experience, it looks like we are going back into a 400 or 800 year cooling cycle. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. These are incredibly snowy places anyway in the northern hemisphere, but to exceed 100 year snow totals twice should raise a couple of flags.